Aloha and good morning guys, it's your girl Ava and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the eradication of Ava in Hawaii and a little bit of its history. My friend Allie lent me this amazing book on Hawaiian Ava by Ed Johnson and Helen Rogers and it just has a lot of great information about Ava's history here in Hawaii so I wanted to share a bit. So when the first colonizers got here in 1778, they, you know, very sadly and unfortunately wiped out about over 70% of Hawaii's native population with disease. And so with that, you know, just so much culture gets erased and affected, you know, regardless, because that's the whole heart of your people to lose. And yeah, it's just really sad. So they get here in 1778. And Ava, you know, was commonly enjoyed by the people of the land, the elites. Ava was commonly used as an offering to the gods. It was a very, very important part of a day in the life of a native Hawaiian. And looking in today's history, it's really sad to me because not a lot of people even know about Ava. You know, most people know about Kalo, Ava's sister plant, and Many other native plants kind of get put on the back burner. In my opinion, Ava is one of them, but it was such a huge importance to culture and to life. And Kava came from Kahiki in 500 AD and Hawaii was actually Ava's last stop in his journey through the South Pacific, which I think is really cool. And basically the Ava um, grew naturally in many places all around the world. However, the colonizers like often mistrusted Ava because they came to the islands and they they see the people and they're drinking the Ava and you know sometimes their eyes would get red and they'd have peely skin because they drink a lot of Ava but it was also used to heal your skin so you know they kind of saw Ava as as an alcohol to them and they did you know think of course it was disgusting and that they you know tried to ban it and stop it from being cultivated. And, you know, of course, like, what did the colonizers do? They introduced alcohol in replacement for Ava, which sucks because Ava is a much better alternative to drinking than alcohol is. And so really interestingly, within that, the Native Hawaiians actually started offering alcohol to Pele rather than Ava to Pele. So that just kind of shows you how much the effect of alcohol had on the Native population and how the Ava was overlooked and, and destroyed successfully within um, the culture here in Hawaii. And here's a little quote from the book from Captain Cook. The excess with which the chiefs drink the kava destroys their strength and makes them sad objects of debauchery. They far outdo in the use of this pernicious root as all other Indians we have visited. So, you know, there's kind of like the colonizer's perspective on Ava here in Hawaii, which is just really, really sad. And I feel like that's, you know, why Ava's kind of forgotten. However, when they started making all of these laws to ban Kava and lots of plants were ordered to be destroyed, there were Native Hawaiians who said, you know what, F that, like, we're not going to destroy our plants. We love the Ava. And they continued to drink and continued to cultivate the Ava. Um, before the colonizers got here, there was actually 35 varieties of Hawaiian Ava, and now there are only 13. But I truly believe that those 13 varieties still exist here today because Native Hawaiians stood up and still continue to plant, drink, and enjoy the Ava, which is just such an amazing part of history here in Hawaii. And, you know, I just really hope people plant more Ava here and it continues to cultivate, grow, and supply the people with a natural alternative to relax and just kind of enjoy life a little bit more and i hope you guys enjoyed this video about hawaiian ava and yes thanks for watching aloha guys